Hello and welcome to, or welcome back to, my YouTube channel. So today I have a speed paint for you all. Recently, my hand is acting up so I can't really use it to draw. So I figured in the meantime, I would just showcase some of the artwork I've already done. So this was a piece, I kind of called it Pretty in Pink. I, I don't know if that'll be temporary or the official name, but that's the vibe I went with for this one. So as the name suggests, I wanted this piece to just be all pink. It's a monochromatic piece. All of the colors I chose had pink or reddish pink undertones to them to keep the cohesiveness of the piece and basically to keep the theme pink. I struggled a little bit on the hand. I couldn't really get the anatomy of it right. So what I did was I took a picture of myself having my hands up in the way that I wanted to and used that as a direct reference for this piece. And I think using references of your own self is very useful because you can, to the best of your ability, do any pose or any hand gestures that you want instead of having to search and search and search to find the perfect one when you can just do it yourself. So that's something that I recommend and that really worked for me. I had a mood board set up for this piece. I was able to get a shuffles code, the Pinterest shuffles code back when it was invite only. And since I can connect it to my Pinterest account, I was able to take pictures that I had gathered and put into my Pinterest board and make it into one photo collage. So now shuffle is open to everyone. So I recommend that as a way to put all your Pinterest references, since I know a lot of people use Pinterest, put them together and have one singular picture that you can use as a reference on the side. I found it really useful because I didn't have to change the picture that was in the reference window on Procreate constantly because I could just move and zoom in as it was a collage. I struggled on choosing a hairstyle for this piece. I wasn't really feeling the way I was drawing the other hairstyles and I had seen this tutorial on TikTok on how to do the big curls and I knew that I wanted to try it so I figured why not try it and it turned out that I fit the piece perfectly so I went with that. This is actually one of my more favored pieces and that's because I kind of went out of my comfort zone a little bit instead of just doing a bust I showcase a little bit more of the body and practice a little bit more of the anatomy and I think I did a good job on that and it was pretty fun to only use one color. It was kind of like a Huevember, but not really at the same time because I didn't have to stick to just one hue. As long as it stayed within the realm of pink, I allowed myself to use it. Plus, working on this artwork kind of made me like the color pink a bit more. It didn't used to be my favorite color, which is kind of ironic seeing as I made a whole piece dedicated to the color, but it started to grow on me as I did this piece and I really like it a lot. For the lighting, I did pink lighting coming from the side. I think I probably could have done a little bit more with the lighting, make it a little bit more dynamic, but I think it still works pretty well. My favorite part about working on this piece was doing the hair. It was a lot of fun to render all those big curls and see them come to life. So that's really all I have to comment about on the working in this piece. So I'll let the rest of the time lapse play and please enjoy it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below about what you think of the piece or just anything about art in general. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you all later.